And maybe that's another reason why uh, Moan decided to just let this guy run off, is because he's going to take a face up here for more damage. I think maybe he'll be easier to kill later on. So he's double stressed now, and he's at pilot skill zero. So not ideal crits, but still ones you'll live with. How does Paul not have those memorized? Seriously. You're the world champion for God's sake. <laughs> and yeah. Gonna get an ion shot at B1 again. Gets two, that'll do it. Just gonna kite him along. Forgetting he left that stress on though. That's gonna That don't matter. Yeah, maybe. That ion stress combo is so devastating. Pharrell's got no shot. This T1's gonna go here, you know. Two on three. So the rookie works his way back in. He's gonna keep the lock. He's keeping the lock because he knows that rookie's got that free focus that he's not going to spend on offense, so I figure he'll rather just keep it for next turn when he can focus target lock him at range 1, potentially. This being a shoot Dutch, 3 on 1. Hmm. And a return shot of two on three, probably. Ooh, it's gonna be close. Hmm. Juan has been really conservative with his actions in terms of offensive, offensively this game. And, I mean, I'm not saying it was necessarily a bad decision, but it's definitely cost him some damage. I can think of, including that one, that's at least three specific instances well, I'm not, I, obviously we don't know what would happen there had he spent the lock, but I know there were two previous instances before on that first turn of shooting when he would have done two points of damage against that B-Wing he was shooting at, which would have made a difference at this point, but I'm too late now. So now, if you're Dutch, you finally got what you wanted and that you know you're going to get... A shot on Jake if you want it. And if you're Jake, now you're in a bad spot. Because a two bank is going to be really close. You really don't want to have to three forward. But you can three forward and then free focus for a barrel roll or boost for better positioning and then evade. And probably dodge an attack from Dutch. But again, he's not going to get to shoot. And so Dutch can slap on a free focus or free target lock, and then just next, and then just save it for next turn to get a full target locked focused attack.
Ugh. So it's it's going to be interesting what this Tala does. Because you know Rook is K turning or hard turning. So do you one bank anticipating the K turn or do you K turn anticipating the hard turn? This guy I think he's got to go for the rookie because he's already got that lock on him. So far, just one forward, I imagine. So what do we got here? Yeah, we get a one right bank. I'm just gonna take a target lock to save it for later. And we get the ion move and the hard turn. So now, if you're Muan, or if you're Paul, you're hoping Muan did bank. If you're Muan, you're happy that you K-turned. I'd be surprised if this bandit did anything other than a one straight or a, yeah, I was going to say, or a two left bank. Kind of surprised he didn't two bank there. Get himself an action, but that's not a bad move. Let's see if he remembers it. Oh, I'm sorry. He was double stressed. That's why he still had the stress. I apologize. Oh, and that's a good move there. And what's this guy going to do? He's probably going to one forward and bump two. So that kind of hurts to lose two actions by bumping into your own guys, but he's still got a lot of shots here. And Dutch is going to three left bank. And I like that move, because now there's no way Jake gets a shot here. And he's put even more distance between himself and that B-Wing. And he's going to lock the Rook, basically ensuring that he's going to die this turn. And he's going to give... Yeah, there's no way this Rookie is going to... And he's going to probably kill him before he lives... Or before he lives, before he shoots... But the, ooh, that's a gutsy move by Paul to, to bank, but it's not going to matter now, of course. Because even if he boosts, I don't think he's going to get a shot. Unless he can boost and then roll right, which he might be able to. I think he's thinking, do I roll left and then boost? Or do I boost and roll right? Because there's, I don't think he's really worried about having to turtle up here. Because with those auto thrusters, Dutch can't really hurt him. I'd be surprised if he didn't barrel roll. Even though, yeah, well he's not going to push the limit because I, I don't think a barrel roll would have given him a shot anyway. So he's just going to do that. <laughs> and yeah, he really has not gotten a whole lot of shots from Jake, understandably, but yeah. So Dutch is just going to eye on here. Going to use a lock, might as well. Still only two hits. But that's enough. That's one damage. Now you need two more here. He should probably get it with those target locks and a ranged one attack. 
It's a two on two. You hope for just one hit here. Ooh, and that's probably going to be a crit. Oh, a rookie dodges both. That hurts. You still got a good chance here, though. I think it's one. Uh, oh, we got a crit. Oh, and he gets him. That is so clutch. Oh, man. One is like, thank God, finally, something goes my way. I'm sure Paul was hoping he'd get a shot off. That's how Juan felt when he lost his two tallest uh, fucking three hits at one time and then whatever the hell that other one was. So yeah, now, boy, has this game shifted. And Paul is still very much in it, but... Now, who do you go at here? Do you go for Dutch, who's really been wrecking your day? Or do you take the... Yeah, he's going to go for Dutch. Not at range 3. Ooh, a crit and a hit. That crit could hurt. Yeah, Paul... Or, Mon's going to take one. What's it going to be? Blinded pilot. Well, you're not happy with that if you're... Uh... Mon, but it could have been worse. Like a munitions failure really would have been bad there. Now the bandit's going to get a return shot. Probably two on two. Yeah, but he's got that lock still. I think I'd spend it here no matter what I roll. Even if I get two blanks, I'd just spend it. Gotta spend it here. Come on. Yeah. Ugh. Ugh. Well, I don't know. I don't think the dice have been too absurd. I think Paul's got maybe a slight, slight advantage thus far. But this is such a close game. And he's double stressed that B wing out with, from that thrust control fire. So, but he can't shoot this turn. That really hurts. So I think this turn, but again, this guy's facing the wrong way. So I was going to say, this is going to be the turn where Paul can catch back up a little bit. Because you're worried about those proton rockets. But this tall is in a bad spot. Because he really can turn into... Jake without bumping so I think I would probably just two right turn him and just bump just say fuck it what do you do I think and then I might ooh do you just K turn with Dutch maybe I don't think so actually I think I'd probably just two right turn take a target lock save it for later then hide behind this asteroid hopefully if this B wing wants to keep shooting at his ass and again, Paul is an exposed dial. you like if you could somehow block up that bandit, but I just don't see it happening. So you'll probably see it too forward. I'm oh, sorry, block up Jake, but... Played really well, but he's got to start putting some hits into Jake. 